A Las Piñas City Court on Friday acquitted the son of Justice Secretary Boying Remulia of illegal drug possession charge. Inquirer.net's justice reporter Tech Torres Tupas has the details. Tech. Neil, uh, the Las Piñas Regional Trial Court has acquitted Juanito Jose Remulia III, eldest son of Justice Secretary Jesus Crispin Remulia of charges of illegal drug possession. Juanito was arrested on October 11, 2022 by agents of the Philippine Drug Enform Enforcement Agency after accepting a package containing two bags of marijuana weighing 893.91 grams. There are several points raised by the court in its ruling that led to Juanito's acquittal. First, the court said there is reasonable doubt that Juanito knowingly received the package. The judge said that the prosecution must establish three elements to secure conviction, conviction, one of which is that the accused freely and consciously possessed the said drug. In this case, the prosecution witnesses themselves admitted that Juanito is not aware of, of the package. The court said, and I quote, apart from showing that the package or parcel was handed to the accused, the prosecution did not present other evidence to show that the former knew that it contained marijuana. The prosecution failed to show that accused by receiving the parcel knew that he was also possessing illegal drugs. Second, the court said even if the operation was a controlled delivery, the enforcers are still required to ensure the integrity of the seized items. In this case, the court said as early as September 28, 2022, Customs Anti-Illegal Drug Task Force already had possession over the parcel. However, no proof was presented showing how the evidence was preserved from September 28 until it was turned over to Pidea on October 10. No details was also given regarding the custody of the dangerous drugs from the time it was turned over to the laboratory up to its presentation in court. The court said, chain of custody is not merely a matter of procedural formalities, but is a matter rooted in the very core of the Crimes Commission. Despite his acquittal in the possession of illegal drugs, Juanito is still facing an importation of illegal drugs complaint before the Pasay City Prosecutor's Office over the same 893.91 grams of marijuana. Meanwhile, Justice Secretary Jesus Crispin Remulia in a statement said, the court has already uh, rendered the decision. He said he did not interfere in the process and he is wishing his son further redemption in the future. Neil? Mm -hmm. Let's show the question now is uh, what happens next. Uh, let's talk uh, legal process here. Mayroon pa bang possible next move ang prosecution regarding sa kasong ito? Um, ang next option nila is to file a motion for reconsideration okay. before the court. So meron silang okay. period to file a motion for reconsideration or they can take the case directly to the Court of Appeals if they want to. Mm. Have we heard anything uh, about uh, whether or not the prosecution is planning to pursue this? As you mentioned, nga, di ba? mayroong option itong prosecution to file a motion for reconsideration. So have we heard anything from them indicating that they will pursue this further? Um, so far, wala pang statement ang prosecution. But PIDEA said um, they respect the decision of the court and they will carefully study the reason behind the acquittal and they will exercise a diligence in the conduct of similar operations in the future. Mm -hmm. One more question, Techano. Uh, isa sa mga criticism sa kasong ito and one of the reasons this uh, case is particularly popular is the involvement of the son of the Justice Secretary. A lot of people are saying uh, that there might be conflict of influence since uh, Secretary Remulia is after all the Secretary of Justice and at the same time may mga criticism na uh, the common Filipino would uh, might not be given such due process in particularly in drug cases. So ano masasabi ni uh, Secretary Remulia tungkol dito? Sabi niya nandun sa statement niya kanina hindi siya nag-interfere sa process and um, may previous statement na rin siya before na he, he, he is leaving the procedure sa National Prosecution Service which is, although it's under the Department of Justice, may sarili siyang head. And Secretary Remulia also made a statement last year na whatever the ru ruling or resolution of the NPS or the National Prosecution Service, mm -hmm. hindi siya dapat umakyat sa Department of Justice. Okay, thank you, Tetch. We'll wait for developments on this story. That's Tetch Torres Tupas reporting live.